me, Greg. Your grandson? Remember? Been taking real good care of your house, Nana, ever since you died. Thanks for leaving it to me in your will. You won't regret it. I wanted to talk to you today, Nana, and let you know that I'm finally going to go and get a girlfriend today, Nana. You know that girl Vanessa I tell you about? The girl who makes me eggs every day at the diner? Well, I'm gonna ask her out today. And we're probably gonna go on dates and eventually get married and probably have babies. But hopefully, when Vanessa has my baby, she won't die like mom did when she had me. Don't look at me like that, Nana. Don't give me that look. I know what you're trying to say. I'm not gonna chicken out this time, Nana. Nana. But. But. Th but this time. But. Would, would you let me finish, Nana? Can I talk for one second here? Well, it's really hard to talk when you're talking over me the whole time. I know, Nana. I love you too, Nana. Have a good day today. In heaven, Nana. Say hi to Pat Pat for me. Hey, didn't see you there, folks. Stephen O'Leary here. You know you love me. You can't get enough of me. I'm awesome. What can I say? Just enjoying a nice cup of joe on this wonderful morning. It's gonna be great. Um, let me just give you a couple little pointers for my awesome day that's about to happen. Um, I just threw the sweetest pot roast I could possibly find in my slow cooker. Mmm. Ooh, pot roast. And my favorite show in the entire world, Karate Talk Show. Yeah, they taught me that. Uh huh. I'd be scared. Well, that's gonna be on all friggin' day long, and I'd be watching it all friggin' day long, eating my pot roast. You know, just chowing down, watch some karate. Sounds pretty awesome. I know you're jealous. I would be. If someone else was doing it. Oh. So, I can't believe I didn't say this first. Oh my god. Hold on. I need some coffee. Cause this is gonna be big. My best friend in the entire universe, Greg Henley. That's right, buddy. That's me. <laughs> he is finally going to ask this girl out that he's been hardcore creeping on for about a year now. Vanessa from Bocktown. But the best part, I'm going to be there to make sure he does it. That's right. Have no fear. Steven is here. I got you. But, um, I have to go and check on the pot roast now, maybe throw a couple more veggies in there. You know, because it's going to be so sweet. So sweet. Well, um, 
And we'll give you an update in a couple hours and let you know how good old Greggy Poo does. Bye. Damn it, Steven. Thank you for calling Bocktown. Hi, is Vanessa working today? Yeah, Vanessa's here. Hold on. Hello? 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 Hey Patrick. Hey, what's going on, bud? No, not too much, you know. That was uh, quite a little workout you had there this morning, huh? Yeah, you know. I like, I like to stay in shape. I could tell. I was watching you from my uh, window. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, you know, it's uh, put it together. Put that whole workout together myself. Yeah, you do that every day. Yeah, yeah. It's just just about. I could certainly tell, man. But hey, wanted to stop by. Wish you luck today, all right? Oh, what, what are you talking about? You know, good luck with the girl. How do you know about that? Uh, your little uh, creepy buddy gave me his uh, website to his blog the other day. A little bored this morning. Checked it out. I was uh, pretty entertained. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I mean, funny, funny stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong. You guys are obviously a little weird. Yeah. You know, I worry about you sometimes. I watch you doing that stuff in the yard. You got blogs. Uh, you're going to sneak up on me in the middle of the night or something? <laughs> Greg? No, no, I won't. No. All right, all right. Good stuff, man. Well, hey, good luck. I'm pulling for you. Uh, Go get it. Thanks, Patrick. Have a good one. I'll see you. Bye, Greg. I'll see you later, neighbor. My neighbor.
Hello. Oh. <laughs> what can I get for you? Sorry. Um, I'll just have a cup of coffee. Hey, um, is Vanessa working today? Yeah, Vanessa's here. Why? Oh, no reason. She's just usually the one that waits on me. Whatever. I'll be right back with her. Here you go, and coffee. Nothing, um, nothing. Uh, just, just a testament, um, durability and just making sure I had enough light in here and I'm, I'm a big, big photo guy. Alright, uh, no eggs today? No, I already had eggs. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm on register today. I get to be hostess. Hostess with the, the mostess. <laughs> yeah, well, you have a good one, Greg. Hey, Vanessa? Yeah. Do you, uh. You don't play any ice? I, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> okay. We, uh. Could you give me more coffee? Sure, Greg. How's it going, buddy? Did you do it? Did you ask her out yet? No. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, no, I haven't done it yet, stupid. You okay? About enough of the excuses, Greg, you need to sack up and do it already. How's that sound? Here you go, guys. Thanks. Yeah. What? Are you serious? That was your chance to ask Vanessa out on a date. What are you doing? Shh. What did you say? That was your chance to do it and you blew it. You want me to ask her out while she's pouring me coffee? Yeah. I'm really gonna go on a date with you. So what? When else were you gonna do it? Steven, I'm trying to be slick about this, okay? Slick? Since when are you Captain Slick Pants? Can be slick. You're not slick. Here's your check, boys. I can take this whenever you guys are ready. Do we need any more coffee? No, we're good. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess this is goodbye then. Today's actually my last day. What? Why? Why are you leaving me? I mean, here. Wait. Huh? Why are you? Not me. But why? Um. 
Well, I've been taking some night classes to get my teaching degree, and I finally got a teaching job, so I'm out of here after today. Well, I do have some finals I have to take. The, the job sounds just, just great, just real great and fun sounding. I'm really happy for you. Okay, well, I've got some things I've got to finish up, so I can come get this one over you guys are ready. Thanks, is so weird. Oh, uh, maybe a little bit, but he's pretty nice. He has really good tips. Yeah, well, he's still a freak show. Janelle, don't be mean. Okay, okay, okay. Look, why don't you go ahead and get out of here? I'll finish up. I mean, get the hell out of this place and don't look back. Really? Yeah, I mean, I can handle a half hour by myself. Really, go, get out of here. Oh my god, thank you so You're much. You're welcome, good luck. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Last day. You're never gonna get another chance to ask her out. What's this? Pay the check, give her a sweet tip, and ask her out. Foolproof. I, I don't know. Do Stan. it. Do it. Sack up and do it. I have faith in you, buddy. Call me. Let me know how it goes. Come on, do Steven. it, Steven. Do it. Okay. Pocket that twenty, I. Oh, wait, uh, Vanessa... Yeah, no, Vanessa just left. I've got it. I'll take care of it. Thanks. Tell me that you did it. Even better. I got her wallet. I said I got her wallet. So instead of asking her out, you stole her wallet? No, I didn't steal it. She must have dropped it in the parking lot. So you got her wallet. Big deal. Take it back to Bucktown. No, I'm not going to take it back in there. I'm going to take it to her. I don't know about that. That's, that's kind of crazy. That's a bad idea. That's like some psycho type stuff there, Gregors. <sighs> Whatever. Why don't you just take it back to Bucktown? That sounds like a much better idea to me. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Greg? Greg? Cool, we hung up. That's mature. Cool. No borrows for you, buddy.
sweetie, I got something for you. Mm. Give you a little stir. One more, one more babies for you. Finley and this is Karate Talk Show. Today's guest is Griff Gimble. He walked all the way here from Toledo, Ohio. Welcome to the show, Griff. You smell like fear. Especially when you got Shocker. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa buddy. Hey, just clean up in here, man. What are you doing? You wouldn't dare. Stop, 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 stop. Hold it right there, buddy. Hold it. Back off. Hand, hand back off. Hand I said back off. When a roast is going to get it. You have a really crazy look in your eyes right now, buddy. I don't like it. What happened? Uh, I will destroy this roast. Why? What did I do? I will destroy this. This smells wonderful, by the way. But I will destroy it. Just, just put it down, buddy. Put the paws down. Nicely on the table. And tell me what the hell happened. Okay. What the hell? Alright, alright, alright. I'll put, put it, it down. down. Please. I understand. I'm being kind of silly right now. Please. Kind of? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll no, put you're. It. It's all good. I'll put it down. Please. You just gotta promise not to hit me. I won't hit you. Promise. I promise. Just be gentle. I lost the wallet. So, when did you actually start taking karate? The day I came out of the womb. I just ah! the doctor right in the head before he could slap me on the ass. And I was like, no! Do you have a favorite movie? So, a guy on a bike stole the wallet out of your car. And then you chased him. And he outran you? Well, he didn't outrun me. He just, he was on a bike and... There, you couldn't catch him? No. Because there was like stop signs and traffic lights and stuff. Like... Wh where did you lose him at? Somewhere down in that neighborhood off Woodlawn. You know, it's like, it's like a freaking maze back there. It could be pretty confusing. You know, I mean, had you listened to Steven in the first place and just took the wallet back to Blocktown like I told you, you know, you wouldn't be in this situation, but, you know, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, Honor. Oh, karate. So, no. So, you truly are a karate master. I eat, sleep, masturbate to karate. This is that guy I was telling you about. He's, he's supposed to be able to, like, break bricks with his head. He's really good. I've been looking forward to seeing this guy for a while. Yeah, sounds really cool. So, other than karate, any other interests? Uh, let's see. One of my leisure time things is uh, peeping through people's windows and seeing what they're eating. Maybe see what they're watching on TV. Ooh, Gilmore Girls! Gilmore Girls! Yay! <laughs> um, would you mind uh, standing up and showing us a few things? Uh, <clears throat> normally I don't, but um, yeah, sure. Okay, so, <clears throat> first of all, let me ask you a question. Sure. How does a fly learn how to fly? How does a dog learn how to piss on your leg? How does a hooker 
know the right spot, huh? It's all about instinct! Ooh. About knowledge! Outstanding. Outstanding. Thank you very much. I wouldn't want to run into that guy in a dark alley. How about you, Gregors? Yeah. Until next time, folks, enjoy your karate. What are you doing? I'm not going to sit here and watch my favorite show with your sad face over here. It's killing me. Well, sorry. I had a heck of a morning. Yeah, well, that's, that's also a little bit of your fault. But, hey, I, I, I'll tell you what. Let's venture out. Let's, let's go get some lunch. And then we go and look for this guy wherever you lost him at. Sounds like a long shot to me. You gonna sit here and cry about it all day? I guess we can go look for him. All right. See, that's that's positive. That's what we need. What's the what's the worst that can happen, Greg? Then we don't find him, and you're where you're at now. If we find him, we'll see what happens. What do you say? Go get some lunch. I'm buying. All right. All right. Let's go. Burger. Fine. That's pretty good. Right? So, Gregor's, you know, I'm just rolling some stuff around in my head here. Um, sure, you know what you're doing? You know, with, with this chick? You know what you're doing? What do you mean? You're saying, like, how well do you know this girl, for starters? I mean, you go in there every day, she waits on you, but have you ever seen her outside of the diner? I mean, you know, I think I know her pretty good. Yeah? You know. I mean, you were pretty much taken back when you find out that she was leaving Boston and becoming a teacher. I feel like that's something you would know. Well, you know, I, I think she just wanted to keep it a surprise. Like, she wanted to make sure... She was going to be a teacher before she wanted to impress me with that. She, I'm sure she was just keeping it a secret. Just because she wanted to surprise me. Well, I just don't want you to get so, like, gung-ho on this and so built up like you do sometimes. And then you get really, really devastated when things don't work out. I just don't want that to happen again, you know? Just don't get it so built up. Not everything works out the way it should. Mm. Yeah, heard that one. Right, that was that was a little, a little out of line. I, I apologize for that. Yeah, but. well, you know, I know what you're getting at. I know what you're trying to tell me. Yeah, and you do? The fact of the matter is that I go into Bocktown almost every day, and I see Vanessa for like five minutes a day. That's, that's my And point. if you add all those up, like, we've hung out for like, like a week. Yeah, I mean, and technically, yeah. Yeah, no, play. I'm right. Yeah. And you're like trying to sit here and tell me, oh, you know, don't get your hopes up. Can't get what you want. Uh, I'm, I'm just sick of hearing that. You know, I I need a good woman in my life. It's true. And Vanessa is a good woman, and she's who I want, and I'm going to go get her. You know, she's like the nicest girl in the world she actually talks to me she's one of the only girls that has ever talked to me and she's like real like hot she's good looking and I'm good looking I mean I'm real good looking you are and good looking people they get together they have babies they buy houses, they do things. Like, this is how it works, Steven. You know, Nana died, and, you know, I, I she, need a woman now, you know? Nana, Nana did die. Yeah. You know, and, you know, I, I'm i just, I'm looking out for you. I mean, I'm what I'm hearing from you right now is stuff I've not really heard from you before. And I've known you for 20 years, Greg. I've not really heard you be all about a girl like this before. And and I'm not going to lie, I'm a little shocked and taken back, but it's, it's good. This is like a different Greg that I've ever seen. 
you're right, Steven. You know, this, I, I feel different today. Like, today, there's just something about today. There's something in the air. And, you know, everything just feels right. It feels like I'm making the right choices about everything. You know, it's just this feels good. Everything about today feels good, except for this idiot took that wall out of my car. And he's going to pay. He's yeah. going to pay more than he ever knows. Oh, he is. And we're going to get that wallet back. And I'm going to take it to Vanessa, and I'm going to ask her out, and, and, and it's going to work out. Well, I'll tell you what, Greg. Um, I'm in, all right? Uh, I'm, your, I'm your man. I'll, I'll see this through with you. So let's finish up these tasty burgers and fries and wonderful ice cold soft drink. Put some balls in a hole in the putt putt over here. And we're gonna go find this clown and kick his ass. And get the wallet back. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. That's what I like to hear. What do you think? I like it. So don't stop until until we're done. Hey, Gregors, um, would you mind maybe tell me what we're looking for here? Like, for starters, maybe what the guy looks like, for example? You know, like maybe, like, uh, the color shirt or whatever. Black, maybe blue, and you know, just like some, some slacks, like some, okay, some right. denim jeans, you know? Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Um, how about the bike? What's the bike look like? Um... Come on, Gregors. Like a 12 speed. Okay, no, yeah. not a 10. Well, see, there's a difference between a 10 and a 12. It looked like it could change gears. Oh, okay. Yeah. That helps. See, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, that was nice. That was easy. The guy. That's the guy? That's the guy right there. Oh my god, he's got the wallet too. I could take that guy. Bastard. Let's go get him. Alright, pull up. Get him.
I learned this move called the, the Dragon Fist Smash, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate on this guy. Get that wallet back, all right? Well, wait, wait. I think, uh, I think I should scope this out first, you know, just... Why? I just, I, mean, I want to try doing this on my own, Steven. This is, it's my thing, okay? Just let me, let me, let me scope the situation, all right? It's your show, kid. If I need backup, I'll come, I'll come get you, all right? Okay, well, don't get seen. All right. Just you trust me. It. Just trust me, Steven. I can okay. do this. Yeah, I'll do right. it. I trust you. It's time for Karate Talk Show with your host, Brass Bidley. Once again, this has been Bryce Finley with your all-day Karate Talk Show marathon right here on Cable Channel 14. <laughs> Again, this has been Bryce Finley with your all day Karate Talk Show Marathon right here on Cable Channel 14. Stick around. Today we have Dirk Diamond. He drove all the way here from Tallahassee, Florida. Welcome to the show, Dirk. So when did you start taking karate? Well, I was uh, two and a half. My dad brought me down. My dad was a diver, so it was only natural that I would do karate. And within a month, I was fighting college because I was three and a half. So. That is completely amazing. Very. All right, so Dirk, um, would you mind getting up and uh, showing us a few things? The most deadly and powerful kick you do, it's called the tie kick. What you do, so you're in your pose, okay? Guy's coming at you, let's say he has a gun, okay? He's got a gun, he starts shooting at you. Turn. Wow. Just like that. Turn. Thank you everyone for tuning in. We'll be back next week with Riff Grimley. Once again, this is Bryce Finley with your all-day karate talk show marathon right here on Cable Channel 14.
Yeah, I just walked in right now, so I can uh, give you a call in a little bit. All right. Okay. Him. It's definitely him. Awesome. Well, have yourself a little breather and I'll go beat that wallet out of him, no, okay? No, wait, wait. I got a better idea, okay? I got a plan. It just came to me. It just popped in my head. Yeah, so. You got a plan? I do. I do. Trust me, Steven. Come on. Yikes. How are you today, sir? Yeah, what's this about? Oh, I'm uh, I'm Ned from the Post Gazette. How are you today? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Okay. Um, I didn't catch you at a bad time, did I? Yeah, but what do you want? Um, like I said, I'm Ned from the Post Gazette and I work in subscriptions. And I just noticed you have a ginormous pile of newspapers over here. And I just want to come and see how your subscription was. No, no, I don't have a subscription anymore. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I get my news from Fox. I mean, I'm just curious if you had, per se, you had a subscription. Hmm? What do you need it for if you don't need it? No, nah, it's for my bird. Oh, I don't hear the little guy. Where's he at? He's dead.
Leave it. How did you find me? Dumb luck, buddy. Dumb luck. But I got <laughs> success. Got the wallet. <laughs> you look all right. You all right? You good? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. good. Let's get the hell out of here. Right, let's go. Back to HQ, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Get out and see what that was. You get out. It's your car. You hit whatever it is. It's your mission. You got me involved in this. Just go out and check it and we'll get the hell out of here. You check it. I will not. You check it. Nope. You check it. I'm not doing it. Yes, you are. You do it. Go check it. Steven. Be some happy about it, too, Graders. Tell me good news, buddy. We all right back there? Oh, mama. Oh, no. It's not good, man. It's not good. Steven, it's the guy. You hit the guy. What guy? The guy, the wallet guy. The guy who took the wallet. Shit, shit, shit. He's dead. He's dead. He's bleeding. What did you do, man? What did you do? Didn't you see him? Didn't you no, see I didn't anything? see him. Where the heck did he come from? You didn't see anything? What are we gonna do? I don't know, is he dead? Check his pulse! How do you even do that? I don't know! Just put your fingers to his neck. I don't know, I can't tell. Great! I just killed a guy. Awesome! What are we- He might not be dead, I don't even know what I'm Great. doing. Just, just shut up, we gotta figure this out! We gotta take him to the hospital. Hospital? Yeah. And say what? Oh, we actually had broken his house and killed him? No. Get out of here. No. Get in the damn car. No. Get in the car. You gotta pick him up off the road. Steven, we cannot leave him here. Yes, we can. Watch me. Steven, I'm serious. We cannot leave this man here. Pick him up. I'll ditch the bike. You're stronger than me. I can't lift him. I can't. Ditch the bike. Ditch the bike. Come on. Sorry, buddy. <sighs> Hey, what's going on out here? Oh, hello. Um, what's with that bike? Oh, uh, my friend, he he popped his tire and he um he accidentally tapped this bike, it was just on the road. There was there was nobody even around it. I, I'm not sure whose it could be. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll keep the bike and uh, you be on your way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's that's no one's bike. That's, we, we found it. No one was riding it. Bye now. I'm very, I'm sorry. We're, we're leaving. Just shut up, I'm the one driving. Jesus Christ, Steven, slow down the car. Greg, shut your mouth, I'm doing the driving. Just shut it. What the hell are we doing? Why are we stopping? Uh, well, we gotta have a little talk time, Greg. We kinda had a bit of a sequence of events that got out of hand there, wouldn't you say? Got to kind of figure out a plan. A plan? This isn't the time like, for plans. Okay, for starters, who was that crazy maniac that came bursting out of the woods, chasing you down like a friggin' gazelle? 
There, there was another person in the in the house, Stephen. There was somebody else in there. I had no idea. Oh, oh. So wait, when you did all your reconnaissance for your your master plan, dude, I got this plan. It's great. You didn't really do your job correctly. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. That that helps a lot. That's, that makes me feel better yeah. when you say that. Also, beside the point, because we have a a person in the back seat that we need to get to the hospital now. Here's how this is gonna happen, ready? Oh, hey, Doc. Um, we accidentally broke into this guy's house and then we killed him. Sorry about that. We didn't mean to. I'm really sorry. We're not gonna talk to anybody, Stephen. What? what, what? You're gonna, would you just drop him off on the curb like they do with the drug dealers and stuff in the movies? Oh, that's that's real helpful, Gray. Let's talk about movies. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you even think before you open your mouth sometimes, Greg? I mean, just... Wow. It just blows my freaking mind. Let me give you a little heads up here, Gregers. Um, you seem to not really be with it today, so I just want to break some stuff down for you real quick. Like they do on the sports shows, the play-by-play -play guys. Um, so you broke into that guy's house twice. You know what that's called? Breaking and entering. That's a felony times two, bro. Okay? And then, wait. Oh, you stole the wallet, too. That's called theft. All right? I killed the guy, all right, with my car. So me and my car both are going to be in jail for manslaughter. And then we left the scene of a crime. Is this starting to catch up a little bit? Kind of sounds like we're criminals. We're going to go to jail, doesn't it? Because uh, so we're going to go to jail if we don't bury this guy. We're in the middle of these beautiful woods. Looks like a great spot over there to bury a dead guy. Just throwing it out there. Bury him? You want to bury him? Mm -hmm. That's what you do with dead guys. <laughs> Hey, where are you? I'm hiding by a tree. Yeah, I'm hiding behind a tree too. Why don't you go down and, and check and see if he's still in the car? Hey, you go to the car. Let's both go at the same time. Go see if he's still there. All right, I'm coming. Thanks, Greg, because I can see that. He's not in there. I mean... Yeah, no shit, Greg. So what? So what the hell are we going to do? What are we going to do is we're going to get the hell out of here. He's no what? longer in the back seat bleeding. We can't just leave this guy out here. What if he's dead? Have you ever heard of a get-out-of-jail-free car? We both just got them. Well, what the hell are we gonna do, Steven? I told you, we're getting the hell out of here, and that wallet's going to Vanessa's house right now. We're gonna look at her ID, figure out where she lives, and that's going there right now. Right now? Yeah, right now, Gregors. We're not having any more running people over in cars, breaking in people's houses, running through the woods from people. No, it's done. I'm done. I'm tapped out. I don't have any more in me. I'm driving you to Vanessa's, and that's it. Whatever happens, happens. I know that's kind of sucky and harsh, but... Sorry, man. I'm not playing anymore. It's done. I'll be in the car when you wise up. You got two minutes.
Hello. Oh yeah, can you hear him answering you? I don't like this, Steven. I was just thinking, I don't like today at all anything about it. You could pacing and get in the damn car. Now, now-ish would be good. Yeah, there he goes. He, there we go. There we go. All right, Greg, it's time. All right. Let's do it. Ready? I'll just be waiting here. No, no, I'm not ready. I, we should, let's just, it's not good time. We should just do it, do it another time. Yeah, okay, you're right. We'll do it another time. I'm gonna go do it right now, okay? What? Steven? Steven, where, where are you going? Don't be scared. Steven, I don't think anybody's home. Nope, it's happening today. We're just gonna have to do it some other time. Nope, it's going down now. Steve, where are you going? Oh, <sighs> Steve, what are you doing? Shut it, Greg. Where are you going? Steve, this isn't our property. We're trespassing. Steven, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Looks like you're throwing a fit. I'm not throwing a fit. Pissed. It's been a hell of a day, man. We can't just sit here. I mean, don't you think it's gonna be kind of weird if she comes home and we're in her backyard? Kind of weird? Kind of weird. This whole day has been the weirdest day of my whole life. There's no way it can get more weird than this. So, I'm just gonna chill. So we're just gonna wait here for her to get home. Exactly what I'm gonna do. You're giving her the wallet, and you're asking her out, and end the story. What are you doing? These are Roman candles. These are my favorite. Okay, just shut your mouth. I have to pee. Then go pee. Well, can you take me to a laboratory? There's woods all around. Let's go piss in the woods, Greg. I don't like peeing outside. Well, then piss your damn pants. I don't care. Jeez. Fine, pee in the woods. God, just give me like five minutes of silence. Please. Jeez. He's a kid. He was a little rough. Can I help you? Whoa. Hey, 
Hey, hey. Sorry, I was just uh, taking a minute. Was knocking it's... on my door a few seconds ago? No, that was my friend Greg. He's actually peeing right now. Okay. Uh, you mind telling me what's going on? Sure. You I mean it's kind of it's a long story, I'm sure. Let's... It's a long story. <laughs> I have time. All right, well, so... Hey, Vanessa. Here's your wallet. I found it for you. Here is your wallet, Vanessa. I bring it to you. It has your scent. One for me now. So, I bring Greg back here to Vanessa's to give her the wallet. Okay. I was I just done with it. I see. That makes sense. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Just long day. It seems like a long day for you. I mean, you've had uh, you've had some adventures. I hope he, he finds this girl. So, I mean, is Vanessa like your... No, no, I, I, I don't know her at all. I've never met her. The only reason that I know that she lived here is I still get some of her mail. So you know where she lives, though? I'm afraid I don't, Padre. Shit! Shit, shit, shit. Hey, dude, long day. You seem just... Just stress, just stress beyond belief. The longest day imaginable. I got various beverages, my friend. Really? Come on inside, you know. Whatever that sounds flavor. freaking fantastic. Tea, Coke, I'm sure it does. You seem like you need it. Oh. Back to you, my sir. It's a nice road. Hi. Thank you very much. That's real silk. That's real silk. Real silk. That's impressive. Silk road and chocolate. Here is your information. I retrieved it for you. Reward? I, I don't need a re reward, mate. Maybe a kiss from the fair lady. The fair maiden grabbed you in my arms. You want you want the tongue? I can do that. So, I have a confession to make. I don't have any iced tea or pop. Oh, that's okay. Uh, water will be fine. I, I actually, I asked you to come in here to do uh, a little favor for me. Oh yeah? What's, what's that? See, I have um, a fetish, which uh, it's, it's more of a lifestyle. You know, it's, it's, don't get weirded out, man. I'm not gay or anything. I just live my life a tad bit differently than everyone else. Different strokes for different folks. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, what is that? Are you wearing a diaper? An adult diaper, Stephen, yes. An adult diaper. Why? I hate going to the bathroom. Uh, it, it's confining, it constricts me. You know, this, it's on the go. It's completely mobile. It's a 2011 lifestyle. I have the freedom to go whenever I want, wherever I want. Liberating. Yeah, I can imagine. But, um... I don't like to change it myself. It's it's disgusting, frankly. You know, off put it. Understood. I had a girl doing it. Ex girl, not here anymore. And long story short, getting kind of swampy in there. Wait a minute. Are you asking me to change your diaper? Please and thank you. How about no way? I'll see you later, Chief. Good luck with that. Thanks. How about you change the diaper? Or my floor gets a nice new red paint job. Why? Because you have red paint? Put it together, mental giant. No, because I'm gonna slit your throat and spill your blood. Steven. Steven. Steven.
put the knife down and we can... You stay in here with your dirty diaper and I go outside. I prefer the diaper change. I, I like my scenario. How about crazy psycho guy drop the freaking knife? How about we stop with the name calling and we just get down to business? Don't stab me, you put the knife down. I don't just... want to stab you. I just want my diaper changed. Yeah, I got I'm gloves. Not... I got gloves. I got powder. It doesn't need to be weird. You're just helping me out. Man to man. Put down the friggin' knife, you psycho, and get out of my way. There's there's no need to flip out, man. You can wear surgical gloves. I got the powder and everything. Else. This is gonna get messy if you don't step out of my way. Put down the knife. Craigers. Or what? You think you're gonna light that off, the little firework there? I don't think you have the almonds, son. Yeah, I do. What's... What'd you do with Vanessa? She doesn't live here anymore. He does. I'll explain later. You gonna light that, or are we gonna stand here all day? I got a diaper that needs changing. You're about to have a burnt diaper. Crazy, Gregors. I did it. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. You better put the pedal to the metal, kids. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I don't ever want to talk about that ever again in my life. I can't thank you enough for saving my ass. That was, was totally awesome of you. But we're... I, I'm done. I can't go any further. There's, there's nothing more we can do today. There's... I'm done. I'm washing my hands with today. I can't cart you around anymore. It's done. Today's done. That was the icing on the cake. We can really go for a couple beers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I just gotta make one stop before we go. Steven, are you going to get your pot roast right now? As a matter of fact, I am, Greg. I'm gonna go and get the power race now. I'll be right back. You really saved my ass earlier, buddy. Can't thank you enough, and I won't forget it. No problem, Steve. I mean that. This is right down the street. Gregors, where are you going? I got the pot roast right here. I gotta go, Steven. I know where Vanessa is. I'm gonna do this. I got the pot roast.
Look at her, you crazy bastard. Outside of work, I know I normally don't see you outside of there. No, nope, not really. What's up? I just thought maybe uh, you were worried about this. I am, but where did you get this from? You must have dropped it in the parking lot on your way out of work, because I found it there early this morning. Greg, seriously, where did you get this wallet? What do you mean? I, I found it in the Brocktown parking lot. No, you didn't get this at Brocktown. Where'd this come from, Greg? Found it outside of Brocktown. No, I don't <laughs> think so. What are you doing? What's going on? Dustin, come here. Hey, what's up? Come here. Hey, what's going on? Holy shit. Wait, what, what is he doing here? This is my boyfriend, Greg. This asshole hit me with a car. He's, he's the guy that stole your... Wallet. He stole out of my car. What the hell are you talking about? You hit him with a car? I'm calling the cops. Hurry up. It's your girlfriend. Yeah, it is. I get it. I get it now. I just... What's wrong with you, man? Look, man, I didn't mean for this to turn out like this. I just... I a... Get out of here! Get off my... Get off my... from my car, you sick bastard!
Steven, what the hell are you doing? Do uh, you have any family in Mexico? Or do you know how to speak Spanish? Because that's where we're going. Maggie, Quiet, lady. Steven, what are you doing? Sorry, Gregors. Steven! Not stop until we hit the border. We're going to get ourselves a couple of quesadillas. Can pass on by to pass your time.